Well, hello, YouTube. Back again for another video. This is my weekly haul. Um, wasn't sure if I was going to make it tonight, but uh, I have a little time now. I'm waiting for my uh, my New York Comic Con uh, CBCS books to uh, the video to upload. So I am going to show my weekly haul, and I got a there, uh, there's a number of new books still. Um, you know, I said I was going to pick up a few new books but I think I still I'm still a little out of hand with the, the books I'm picking up um, so I still got to cut back a little bit but I also got um, quite a few books from eBay uh, and I got some really good ones some keys so it's pretty cool and I also got one other thing so I'll start off with that and it's right here it's another Harley statue. It's the new DC Icons um, statue, and I think it's really nice. You know, I was gonna, I don't know, I just can't pass up Harley statues, you know, even though I'm not really trying to spend money, but uh, I just can't pass them up. So this one's pretty nice. Um, give it a little spin to it. You know, everything's, that comes out, you know, so. Uh, it was a little tight to get her feet into the stand. I had to really push on it, and I'm still not sure if they're completely in. But it's actually, you know, I, I have uh, um, one other of these, I believe, or maybe two of them, I can't remember. Uh, one, no, I have one other one. I have the uh, Aquaman one from this series, the Icon series. So uh, they're really nice. I, I, th I think they're nicely made, and I would love to, they, my local had other ones. Um, previously, they have the Superman one and the Flash, and um, thinking they had a Green Lantern one, but they they were all really nice. I just, you know, they're like a hundred bucks a piece. Um, and I get the discount, so I didn't pay that much. Might get the twenty percent off that, so you know, you know what I paid, eighty bucks basically. So I'm happy to have it though. It's really nice. Um, okay, so let's just start with the new books I got this week picked up. Um, first, this is, uh, I just threw this in here, they gave this to me for free, um, I guess they're going to use the other one, they're giving certain ones, and this is what they told me, they said we're going to, you know, certain people we're going to give them to for free, and like, you know, like, certain people spend a lot of money there, um, but it's just like the, uh, Deadpool punch out, I guess like a 3D thing you put together, um, and I got all, all five of them in here, I'm not going to bother, well, I'll show it, you know. There's a number of different ones like right arm, left arm, torso, head, stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to put them together though, so I put them in a bag just to keep them. You never know with things, especially like Deadpool stuff. Or who knows, maybe one day I'll get bored and <laughs> put it together. Okay, so I got uh, Harley Quinn. Of course, this is one of those books I'm just never going to stop picking up and just can't do it. Can't do it. Um, Harley Quinn, I'm picking it up, so, uh, and then I also got the variant cover, um, uh, 24, so, um, then I got this Batman, which is, you know, it's one of the books I said I was going to keep picking up, um, certain ones I said I'm going to pick up, but I still need to cut back on some other ones, and I also got the, uh, color one, the adult coloring book one, this is only the second one I picked up, the coloring book ones, my local doesn't seem to get very many of them for some reason, um, so, oh well. But then my, uh, my local finally got their spread in. I guess they didn't get them last week for some reason. Uh, so they finally came in this week and, uh, I got the regular cover. Um, got the variant cover. B cover, whatever it is. And I got the action figure cover, which I mylar it up. So, uh, I just, you know, these action figure covers are... I think they've done three of them so far are really my favorite action figure covers I've ever seen they just I mean out of the Marvel ones and everything like that I just these are my favorite ones um, and you just put them side by side with the Marvel ones these are much better so got that and I got the Deadpool another you know, another series I just you know I just I'm gonna keep picking Deadpool up you know I I pick I've been picking them up for a few years now, so um, that's the uh, UPC figure one. Uh, I guess this is supposed to be like the 
first appearance of Deadpool 2099, <laughs> whatever. Uh, also, I picked up the Storytellers Dragons. There's only four of them, and it says I'm going to complete the series. Uh, and plus, I really like the artwork in this stuff, and I like the story. I've gotten, I got the one before this. Uh, I can't remember what the series is called. Postals, definitely one of the ones I'm going to keep picking up. So I keep saying these weren't in certain books. I said this in a video before, I believe, where there's certain books I'm going to pick up. Postal, um, Faster and Light, um, something I'm into right now. Uh, and of course, uh, Harrow County, things like that. And Batman, still picking up that one, but... Um, we got the I Hate Fairyland. I, I don't know how many of these are. I don't think there's there are going to be too many of these. I also got the variant cover. The, uh, the uh, naughty word one. Um, and then Rachel Rising. Not too bad compared to what I usually pick up. Um, so I didn't really buy too many. <laughs> so for me, that's not too many. So. Uh, but yeah, so I still, I still need to cut back on some. Um, I really gotta cut, just really stop doing buying all new books by can't and there's certain series I just want to complete them and I'm into them so but okay my eBay stuff I picked this up um, this is a uh, Hulk number one this is the uh, Michael Turner Los, Los Angeles comic-con one or something you know I, have to, actually, I believe it was Murph uh, amazing Murphinator showed this and he gave a link to the guy he bought it from for 20 bucks I think it was amazing Murphinator I'm not it correct me if I'm wrong there, um, but I jumped as soon as I saw the video. I jumped on it and, uh, onto online to eBay and typed the seller's name. And I bought one right away. He had two left, I believe. Um, and I bought one, so I got one. Twenty bucks, not too bad. Just got it today, uh, or no, I'm sorry, yesterday. It said it was near me, and it's pretty nice. There's a, a little bit right there, but I mean for twenty bucks, I don't know. It's not too bad. I'm very happy to have Michael Turner. I'll just leave that up there. Not too bad. And then I got this one. Uh, let me see how much I paid for this one. Because uh, I can't really remember. I know it was, it was like $30, $32. But I finally got it. It went at an auction. Um, it's a, definitely a mid grade one. Um, this, the Marvel feature presents the Defenders. It's the first Defenders. So I'm happy to have that. Um, it's, I don't know, probably a four or five, um, but it got crunched, you know, it's like pressed out and, you know, these thicker spine books back then, but it's not too big, some creasing in the corner, but I'm happy with that, I'm fine, I, I don't need a near mint copy of this, uh, and, uh, I got two more, uh, I got two more things to show. Uh, actually five books all together however I will show you here's my list of my top ten books for this year and guess what I can cross one off guess what I guess which one I can cross off <laughs> well I'll do it right now my Batman Dark Knights I got this so here you go Put off the first one. Oh, Dark Knight Returns, I'm sorry. You guys hopefully knew what I was talking about, though. Um, I got this whole set, one to four. Um, they're all near mint condition, except for the last one, which I'm going to replace. Uh, no big deal. I, I paid $99. One at an auction. So this is more than I actually, I was, I think I was, my local, I was going to buy the, the ones at my local a while back. For 125, 130, or something like that. So I'm glad I got this one. Um, I, 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 I'm glad that the number one turned out to be a fourth printing for my local. So, uh, but I got these are all first prints. Got that. Number two. Uh, number three, and these are all near mint. And then I got number four. This is the one that has the issue. Let me see if I can show it to you. Uh, it's not all horrible or anything but there is it's it was like bent or something right there you can see a crease and even with the black cover it's hard to see but it does break color right there and stuff so even a pressing wouldn't help that but that's still nice enough I can get rid of that and just get a near mint copy to com you know they have a complete near mint set so so I got one off the checklist already 
There you go. One. I got one more book. <laughs> and this book I already have. Uh, but mine, this one's a lot, this one is definitely nicer than what I have already. And, you know, when I see something like that, I mean, I, I think it's like a pretty good price. And that's a nicer copy than I have. Um, I'm going to jump on it. So, here you go. Last book. Fantastic Four, 45. First in humans now. Um, yeah, I'll show it to you. My my other my one I have, I think it has, if I remember correctly, one of the staples detached. I'm gonna have to pull it out and compare the two. But I open this one up. This uh, up, com it's all complete. Um, the staples are nice and firm in there. No staple pulls or anything. It's pretty well in there. Um, now there is definitely some spine wear. Let me see if you guys can see that. Um, but compared to the one I have, I wish I could, I knew where it was right now. <laughs> um, it is a lot nicer. And I will tell you what I paid for it. At auction, I won it for $203. Not bad. <laughs> it's definitely more than I paid for my other one, but not really not too much more. So I think I got a pretty good deal on that. That's probably... I don't know. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not great in grading with the lower grade ones like this, um, but I, I would think it's around a three or four. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I would hope it's a four though. I think it. I think it might even get close to a four. Who knows? But I could be wrong. But yeah, that guys. That's it. Uh, so, if you guys watch my, uh, my, what do you call it? Um, New York Comic Con one. I, I, I just posted it right before this video. Uh, you see, I had two two copies of my uh, the Superman Man of Steel, the first uh, uh, Doomsday, both signed by Louise Simonson. I have one that's 9.6. I'm going to keep. This is the 9.0, um, and I'm probably going to look at to sell this. So, uh, if anyone's interested, like let, let me know. Um, I'm going to try to make a deal with someone. Uh, I'm not looking to trade or anything like that. I just want to sell it. You know, I'm trying to make some money back and get rid of comics, not just keep collecting more and more and more, which I do anyway on my own. So, don't need you guys giving me any more books. <laughs> just kidding. But Simon Louis Louis Simonson. Um, now, if, uh, I'm looking at the, the greater notes. There's um, you know, just some like spine where it says and stuff. And uh, the the big thing back here is some like a color transfer or something they said or some residue there so but still 9.8 signed by Louis Simonson first doomsday the movie coming up you know I know it's a 9.0 uh, but hey if anyone's interested let me know um, if not I'm, I'm probably gonna post it on eBay or you know whatever we'll see what it happens but yeah uh, happy to have that though and I also happy to have that set so I got one off the list got nine more to go okay guys thanks for watching bye